Hello. Um, I had to make this video because the mainstream media lies. The mainstream media tries to brainwash people to think that only white people like Donald Trump. Well, I want to make this video to tell the world that I'm a Mexican American, a legal Mexican American, and I love, I absolutely adore Donald Trump. So just want to get that clear with the world. And there's many of us, all right, guys? So don't let the media brainwash you. Um, I have a list of reasons why I absolutely adore Mr. Trump, and I'm going to read them right now. So number one, he's not politically correct. Our country <laughs> has been on this horrible horrible downward spiral towards try almost like banning freedom of speech political correctness is just a few steps away from a complete ban on freedom of speech um political correctness is actually tyranny with manners according to charlton huston so um it's definitely very very bad for a free nation to have political correctness it's almost it's actually a marxist ide ideology so that needs to go you know we need freedom of speech in our country so i absolutely love that about donald trump that he just says what he says what he thinks you know he just says he's so free with his speech he's not politically correct he's not fake you know he's honest he speaks he shoots from the hip he speaks he says what he means you know what i mean i love that about him all right number two he wants people to obey our laws. You know, guys, the media likes to claim that um, Donald is racist. <laughs> he's, no, he's not racist. It is not racist for people to want people to obey our laws. Our laws are there for a reason, you know? People need to respect our laws in America. They don't need to be coming here illegally. You know, my mom was born in Mexico, and she came here legally. And so the, the legal immigrants that are coming here, it's not fair to them that all these people are coming here illegally and taking their jobs. And the illegal immigration problem, um, it, it actually drives down wages. And um, illegal immigrants actually do commit more crimes than the average person. I looked it up, but the research is there. You can Google it for yourself. Um, actually, a girl I went to high school with <laughs> was actually raped and murdered by an illegal immigrant who then proceeded to dump her body off of, next to my parents' house, um, a few miles away from parents' house in a dumpster. So. And then another girl, or another, actually another girl in a neighboring city here was raped by three legal immigrants. So yes, they do commit a lot of crimes and it's not racist to speak the truth. If it's true, it's true. You know what I mean? Donald never said all, he never said all Mexicans are rapists. He never said all illegal immigrants are rapists. He said some illegal immigrants are rapists. And that's true, you know? And I don't take it personally because I'm not an illegal immigrant. I'm a Mexican, I'm an American who happens to be of Latino descent, you know, and my mom's not an illegal immigrant, she's a legal immigrant, so guys, the whole definition of illegal means they're breaking the law, so yes, they're criminals, just by the fact that they're coming here illegally, and that needs to stop, it's not fair to the American people, it's not fair to our economy, and it's not fair to our nation, um, if you don't have a secure border, ISIS can pretty much just come right through. So it's a security issue and it's not has nothing to do with race. It's a complete security and economy issue. So please don't let the media brainwash you. All right, number three, he wants to protect us from radical Islamic terrorism. That's amazing because we need to be vigilant in these times. ISIS literally wants to kill us. And you know, we can't, political correctness is literally killing people. If you look at what's going on in Sweden and Germany right now, um, it's horrible. They're, it's like on the brink of a civil war over there so we don't want that over here and if you look up the paris attack one of the attackers in paris was actually um he was actually an isis he was an isis member that snuck in through the refugees so yes isis members are sneaking in through refugees and it makes sense to put a pause on it until we can vet these people it's common sense it's not racism by the way illegal and islam are not racist so people stop saying that donald's racist he's doing these things to protect our country and that's that's more than any other candidate wants to do. So I am thankful, so grateful that Donald Trump is running for president. I absolutely love him. All right, especially, you know, being a woman. Women want, women want to be protected in our nation. That's the reason so many women love Donald Trump, regardless of the media claiming that we don't like him. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm on a Donald Trump Facebook group and most of the people in our group are women. So the media is lying. Women love Donald Trump because women love to be protected and to feel safe. And he makes us feel safe. So thank you, Donald. All right. Let's see what else. He's not a puppet. He's self-funding his campaign, so you don't have to worry about him doing whatever the lobbyists want him to do. Like Hillary Clinton, for instance, she's backed by Monsanto, you know, the GMOs that cause cancer um, in our food. So people wonder, how come they allow these things to happen? Well, it all goes back to the money. You got to follow the money. That's what it has to do with. So Donald Trump is, you know, self-funded. He's going to do what's right for the American people, not for the people that are giving him money because he doesn't need their money. So that's amazing. Okay. 
the next thing I love about Donald Trump is that he wants to fix our economy and we need somebody that has business wisdom, you know, business sense that um, knows what's going on. And he, Donald knows exactly what to do. He's going to bring back the jobs from China and Japan and Mexico because we've been, we've been getting ripped off with all these horrible trade deals. So I love that about him as well. Um, the next thing I love about Donald is that he calls out the media for their dishonesty. Um, the media in America is so dishonest, and I've been complaining about this for years. Um, I get I get so so exa- so frustrated. When I don't even really watch mainstream media anymore because I get so angry because I know they always push an agenda. You know, if they want to ban guns, well, guess what they're going to show? They're going to show people getting killed by guns. But they're not going to show the people that defend themselves with guns. You know, they're only going to show one side, the side they want to push, you know. So I love that Donald calls out the media for the dishonest crooks that they are, you know, because they need to stop doing that because the people, the American people are waking up. They know what's going on. All right. The seventh thing I love about Donald Trump, he's not Hillary Clinton. What else can I say? Um, If you don't know about Hillary Clinton, she's a complete fraud and a criminal and she's under FBI investigation. She's given other countries secret information, top secret information, and she honestly shouldn't even be allowed to run. Um, what she did in Benghazi was disgraceful. She lied. She literally lied to the faces of the families of the soldiers that were killed there because of her neglect. And she continues to blame the families. I mean, this woman is evil and she, you know, Donald Trump can definitely beat Hillary Clinton. So I love that about him. Um, Let's see the next thing. He wants to protect our Second Amendment. We need to protect our right to bear arms. That was put in place by our founding fathers to protect us from tyranny. And if you haven't noticed, our government is becoming very tyrannical. Um, Look up what's going on with the freedom of speech. They're trying to ban freedom of speech right now in Congress. It's actually a Muslim trying to ban our freedom of speech in Congress right now, trying to make it illegal to say anything bad about Islam. I'm sorry, but this is America. We have freedom of speech here. So if if I want to criticize any religion, I have the right to do that. It's my freedom of speech. Um, I'm pretty sure people criticize Christianity all the time, especially on television. And do Christians go out and try to get that banned? No, because we believe in freedom of speech because our founding fathers actually were Christians. Most of them were Christians, believe it or not, guys. Look it up. The next thing I love about him. The last thing I love about Donald Trump is that he's pretty much the only Republican candidate that can beat Hillary Clinton. Point blank. I mean the guy knows how to attack you're going to need somebody that can attack and be aggressive with hillary clinton because that lady has so much dirt and i'm sure donald knows all about her dirt and he's gonna demolish her in the debates so i can't wait to see that so um yes so that's the end of my video i just wanted to make this video and show the world that yes a latina loves donald trump a mexican-american loves donald trump so if you're watching this donald i love you so much i love i mean i just have so much love for you thank you for running for president you're like one of a kind i'm i just feel so honored that we have you so thank you so much and i love you donald